we got some gators here today. We're going to do a little Y bone removal here. Everybody's asking how, so we'll maybe do a little video on it. What you need to picture in your head is that. You can see the white bones there, and then this strip is the other part of that Y. And that Y goes down, and it goes up into the top of the fish. And it ends about there. So you make your first cut on top of those white. Don't push down on the knife. Just let it ride down, straight down, and then lay it on there and let it ride down the bones. Then you go into this lateral line. I put my fingers on top of the bones to hold it down and then break the flesh and then go straight back up break the flesh go straight back up I use my fingers to hold the knife and cut through them bones it just rides right up there and out they come and the dog eats that part. Clean up this mess here a little bit. This fella's bleeding. All right. So I cut down right by the head. Put your, just the tip of your knife in. This is all the farther you want. Is about inch of the knife in and then run right down the center, trying to stay on top of that, line it up with that back thing so you're on top of the back. Go through at the tail there. One little quick cut in there to get that flesh, and right here is where those white bones are. I run the big part of the blade. Right through them white bones. It's very important to get right on this backbone so that you can cut them bones as close as you can so you get this, so you visibly can see these white bones for later. That's the reason you want to do that is it gives you a real good visibility on those bones. Lay your knife right next to it. Just let it ride down in there. Then lay it down there parallel with them. And do a little cut. Just opening it up like that. Then you go in that lateral line. Break the flesh. Right back up. Break the flesh and right back up. The whole time I'm holding those bones down with my fingers. cut around the bottom then get that out of the way and then you see there's a little white line here on top I put my knife on that white line open it up and I cut it right down so that skin is flat later for skinning also once you get it turned over you can pick that up and follow right down it with the knife. You can see the backbone real nice that way. And get that cut you're looking for real close. And again, you put the big part of the knife in there. Cut it right through those. That bone is close to the... 
back more as possible. You can see there's not much for meat left there on the northern, so all you're losing is this little bit of Y bone, but it makes for very choice eating that way. On this side, there's a little less blood in there, so you can see those white bones real good. Just lay her right next to them. Draw the knife right down alongside it. Just so you ride that knife down there. You don't want to cut through them. And then put it well on with them. And again, right in that lateral line, push down and let it lock up. You just want to break, again, visualizing that white, that Y, you just want to break through on that Y and go right back to the straight part of that white, that Y band. Nice and a bigger fish to do it. Yeah, three pounds fish and bigger, you know, the five pounders are the easiest. But as you can see here, you have a really nice play. And the reason we took that bottom part out is you got a nice, easy running. 